The purpose of this presentation is to benefit you guys by the things I have learned through my course that was about managing emotions in times of uncertainty and stress. Stress is part of life. Stress can either be positive or negative. It's going to trigger all kinds of emotions and what we have to do as a strong personality is be able to manage those emotions, self-leadership and then help influence the emotions of other people. Just like hostage negotiators do to get the 95% success rate. So first of all, let me explain a little bit about emotions. There are basically four emotions, anger, fear, sadness, and joy. Now we can extend that out by some research, but those are the core. And those go through a process of charging and then being held as tension and then being discharged and then leading to a point of relaxation. Emotions are essential to well-being. We have to give recognition to our emotions and it's very important to be able to put words to emotion like to label them. Right now we are going through as a culture, as a society, all kinds of grief reactions and grief reactions include anger that I'm angry about not being able to do this or that sadness i'm sad that i'm missing this i can't do this or fear what's going to happen or more unlikely to feel joy it is possible in these times of stress to also be able to feel joy to feel joy to come back and have a sense of what this is actually teaching us in terms of meaning and purpose and learning now let me give you a short story to help demonstrate how secure bases and emotions go together. There was a boy who was about 5 years old and he got stuck in an elevator. It was terrifying for him. He really really was traumatized by this. He told his father about that incident. The next day his dad wanted to go to the elevator with him. The boy said, absolutely no dad, I will not get on that. And his whole body froze. It was a paralyzed state of stress. Now his father has to handle that. His father has to deal with that stress when his son feels so threatened by an elevator. Well, it was very simple. First of all, to make sure they corrected the elevator that it was safe and then be able to take him into that elevator by holding his hand and say the elevator will not get stuck the elevator is your friend he reluctantly followed his dad changed his state changed his emotion and when they were in the elevator the father again explained to him that the elevator is your friend and so the boy started to talk to the elevator as you are my friend he changed his whole emotional state his whole way of seeing that elevator and when they got off the elevator the boy waved to the elevator and said goodbye friend and when they came back later that day the boy said dad let's take our friend the elevator and this was some I would say 18 years ago and that day boy still remembers that as a positive memory in how he altered the way his emotions were working. As a strong personality you have to be able to stand up and manage your own emotions. Did his dad lie to him that the elevator would not get stuck? I don't think so because he did say there's only one chance in 5 million that you will get stuck what's he going to pay attention to that 1 million so we have to be able to create the reality and what happens if they would have got stuck again first of all it was not likely because he did check 
that everything was fixed and secondly then if they were in the dark in the elevator the darkness will be their friend and his dad would be there helping him influence the way he intercepted that experience so as a strong person as a strong personality you have to be able to understand your own emotions be aware of them if you are in a state of grief whatever emotion be aware secondly accept if you don't accept that that's reality you are limited by what you are able to do and then thirdly take action action is part of emotions emotion has as its fundamental foundation so you have movement. to be able to move be able to react be able to do something to overcome any negative emotions the worst outcome to emotions is what is called an amygdala hijack and what an amygdala hijack is the paralyzing that can happen or saying things that you later regret or do things you later regret amygdala hijack have to be avoided at all costs and you can do that very simply by being aware accepting and acting in an appropriate way in addition be aware that the corona virus is definitely affecting emotions whatever it's at a conscious level or even at a subconscious level so being able to manage your own feelings about the corona virus and be able to influence the emotions others have about it remember people have to express put words label what emotions are as a strong personality you have to be able to listen to what those emotions are even if you think they are crazy even if you think they are unacceptable there is no perception that you can judge negatively you have to be able to listen and differentiate between accepting something and disagreeing with something for many people when you don't agree with an emotion arguing about it will do no so accepting is different than agreeing and being able to move into a dialogue and the corona virus is something that definitely has to be discussed i hope you guys learned something through my presentation and i hope that now you can deal with your stress in a better and easier way thank you